Hello, Renee Matt here with Renly Beauty. Uh, I am here to give you some volume in your hair. <laughs> um, I've done some backcombing tutorials and um, backcombing is super easy, but I recently got the volume and I do not have a like specialty link for it, but um, you can just go to their website, volume, I think it's volume.com. Um, and I think they had some promo codes on there so you can get a discount there, but I'm gonna show you how it works. Super fast, um, it's amazing. I am a big back comber because I like a lot of volume. So I just went through and um, put a wand through my hair in big chunks. So it's more of just a soft wave, but I'm gonna get some volume in this because this is way too flat for me. So what we do is we take a section at the top and we're gonna clip that over. And then all you do is you take sections and this, um, you can have different temperatures and then it does lock super easily for you. But basically it's just this like waffle um, iron basically. <laughs> um, so you just take sections and you go in and you clamp and you clamp and you clamp. And that is it. That's all you do, and it is amazing. It says you're supposed to do it for one second or less, so you can adjust the temperature to what works best for yours. And you basically just go where you want volume. Um, so I want it all at the roots there and against my head. Might do a little bit more up here because I like it full. Um, what I've noticed that I really like about this is that sometimes it's hard to get the back combing to stay on. Um, so I'm not doing this top section because otherwise it'll get um, kind of textured. Um, I can't get the back combing to stay on, on the back of my head because the back of my head's a little bit flat. Um, so I like to, to do a lot of backcombing back there, but with the volume, I can just do this and it actually stays full where the backcombing eventually falls and then it goes flat. Um, I've been super impressed with this tool, like honestly. And it stays for a while. Like, as you know, I don't wash my hair every day and it stays through my washes. There's been a couple days where I add a little bit more just to get a little bit more of an oomph, but it definitely holds it. So now I'm just gonna let those cool. I'm gonna bring the top part forward. I can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'm just gonna take it kind of like I would be back combing. I'm just taking sections like I would be back combing, going in there, and I'm, I'm lifting it up because it's hot, obviously, because it's an iron. Um, so I'm lifting it up so that it can cool upwards. And that will help retain the volume as well. And um, it even says in the instructions that it's made to be able to brush through. Like, it's designed... So that once you're do, done doing this and it's cooled, brush through it. And that is something you cannot do with backcombing. All right. Look at that. I haven't even finished yet. All right. So then, still a little warm. I'm just going to leave it for a second. <sighs> Have some coffee. What's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a good day. Um, yesterday was such a weird day. We had, it was like 90 degrees and then, and it was roasting. And then all of a sudden, like 15 minutes later, my husband went outside and he's like, it's actually cold out here. It had dropped like 30 degrees. And like, I don't know if the wind shifted off the lake cause we live by Lake Superior. So it's cold. Um, and so I think the wind shifted off the lake and then it just, yeah, everything got really cold really fast. All right. So I think we're good. 
So now I'm just going to, because I have curls in it, I'm just going to use my fingers to finger comb it. Um, but you could, if you were, your hair was straight, you could just run a brush through it or something and smooth it all out. But that's it guys. At work a couple of days ago and um, I actually like, it was so full. I had to keep like going like this every time I went to the bathroom because it just kept, it was like so full. I was like, oh, it's almost like too much. <laughs> um, so this part here, that I probably will. Do I have a comb? So they sent this. It's a back combing comb in case you want it. So I'll try that. I have not used it yet. Just to make this part fuller. Because I don't want to put the volume through that because then it would probably get texture. I don't, I'm trying not to use as much heat on these baby hairs too. So I'm just kind of leaving them normally. For how many years, I would just straighten them. Um, but I'm just letting them curl because I don't care. But look at that guys. Like it is so full. And even when you lift it, like it's, I mean, it has a very little bit of texture, but nothing crazy. And if you have that section on the top, it doesn't matter. And you can put your hands through it. It's insane. But that's it. So, um, yeah. And it's full all the way through the back. That's what it is. And it'll stay all day long, which doesn't typically happen for me with the back combing unless I really get some hairspray in there. This doesn't even have hairspray in it. Crazy. But it's the volume. This is the classic one. Um, I can put a link in my favorites. Uh, you can go to the link in my bio and there will be a favorite, um, shop my favorites I think it's called. Um, so I'll put a link in there so that you have one. And then uh, if you use it, let me know because I want to hear what you think. They, um, it's, they're pretty cool. It's cool. So have a good day. I'll see you later.